there, it's me, Sophie. In today's educational vlog, we are going to tackle the subject that I'm currently taking called Understanding Culture, Society, and Politics, specifically about cultural change. With the development of society comes a new challenge that everyone must confront, such as how to adapt to cultural change that has a significant impact on society. When we say cultural change, it is a change that occurs over time that can be seen in practices, institutions, manners, value systems, customs, traditions, habits, and beliefs. One good example of this is our country's way of courtship, or pagkaharana, that is now rarely seen in Philippine men. Since the start of school year in 2020, I've discovered that a lot has changed in terms of educational system and how everything works since pandemic happened. The way of life in our country includes a mix of conventional Filipino and Spanish Catholic customs with impacts from America and different pieces of Asia. Filipinos are likewise accommodating and religious individuals who love to make some great memories. We go to chapel each Sunday or some of the time, even twice or thrice a week. In any case, because of the pandemic, Filipino families can no longer go to the house of prayer week by week. So, all things being equal, we go to web-based media stages like Facebook Live to watch religious discourses. We Filipinos are inherently respectful from the moment we are introduced to the world. We are instructed how to be differential by utilizing these straightforward expressions, wo and opo, words that show respect while tending to older folks. We also have this culture wherein we lift the back of the hands of our older folks to our brows as an indication of regard. However, because of the social distancing as a result of COVID-19, we all must keep a distance of at any rate, one meter from each other at least. Fun fact, did you know that there are about 42,000 festivals held in the Philippines including both major and minor fun festivities? Wow. Yes, those festivals held across the country to acknowledge and give appreciation to the country's vibrant culture and diverse beliefs. However, most if not all festivals and fiestas are cancelled, postponed, or scheduled due to the pandemic. One of the most favorite events of the Filipinos, including me, is the celebration of Christmas where it brings all the family together. On Christmas Day, Filipinos visit the homes of extended family so that the kids can pay respect to their older relatives. But because of the fear that the pandemic has brought us, festivities have been a little different from the past years as we limit Christmas gatherings and even some celebrate Christmas online. The pandemic has also made teachers and students to adjust towards the shift of face-to-face -to, -face to online classes. Institutions were closed and online method learning is now being implemented. Some tend to lack motivation to work because we were used to perform tasks, work in groups, dance, and even act in traditional classes. Making plans to meet up with friends in person was such an easy way to bond and share time with them. However, to limit the chance of coronavirus exposure and to ensure our and our friends' safety, we see them if safety precautions are taken. But we generally utilize online platforms such as Discord, Messenger, Facebook to stay connected now that we are isolated in our homes. Additionally, prior to the pandemic, we were able to stroll freely and go outside for as long as we are pleased. However, we now follow necessary practices such as wearing masks at all times, keeping alcohol or sanitizers on hand, and even having a vaccination card to ensure our safety and the safety of others. Originally, our traditional gymnasts are known for crowded seating and that could accommodate at least 20 passengers. But to ensure continued economic activity and safety in the face of COVID-19 pandemic, the government imposed several safety precautions or protocols for public transportation operators, drivers, and passengers, including the implementation of limited seats for them. Another thing that I've noticed is that when we go shopping and pay at the counters, we usually see um, a container in which we place our money or payment. I noticed through observation that this method is used to limit interpersonal contact. 
the pandemic, one of the most prominent cultural changes in our society has been the prohibition of youngsters walking outside their homes. In some places in the Philippines where particular regions are regarded critical or have continuously been the leading contributor in terms of new cases, there is an age restriction to go outside. Whereas before, we were free to go outside without any restrictions. Although COVID-19 has made a huge impact on our way of life in different manners, one culture, on the other hand, has never changed. In the midst of catastrophes and disasters, even in the pandemic, Filipinos consistently find a way to overcome the situation. Rather than flounder, we find a way to get ourselves together and smile. <laughs> And that's it for this video guys. Once again, I am Sophie and this ends our episode about cultural changes in our society today. I hope you guys have learned something from watching. See you in my next vlog. Bye!